This device exceeded my expectations by far. Its power is truly remarkable. While there's a bit of a learning curve to optimize it, once you get things set up, it's fantastic. The FPS mouse controller feature isn't perfect, but I simply stick to using a mouse instead. Being in IT, I find it easier to troubleshoot any minor issues that arise. Consider it like a fully-fledged PC, complete with the complexities of Windows. Despite the less-than-appealing Legion Space interface, I mostly overlook it as it functions perfectly well. The battery life lasts about an hour, which might seem short, but it's not a deal-breaker considering everything else it offers. If you prefer a simpler experience, perhaps the Steam Deck would be more suitable. But if you want a device that can handle anything from gaming to productivity tasks, this is the one to go for. No need to even consider the Ally. I've been impressed by Lenovo's excellent communication with customers who've purchased this device, particularly through Reddit. Their continued support has been noteworthy. Reviews on the Asus ROG Ally have been quite positive from my experience. Personally, I find it to be a more preferable option over my Steam Deck. The Asus ROG Ally essentially functions as a compact gaming powerhouse. What I appreciate most is its portability, as it eliminates the need for me to lug around my bulky gaming laptop. Despite initial concerns about the button quality, I haven't encountered any issues thus far. They're responsive and haven't exhibited any signs of sticking or difficulty when pressed. One notable aspect is the absence of a sleep mode with the system defaulting to a lock screen upon pressing the power button or displaying a black screen during idle periods. To conserve battery life, I've adjusted the settings to their lowest levels, although I've found the battery longevity to be satisfactory, particularly during less demanding gaming sessions such as playing Left 4 Dead 2. However, I've heard that more resource-intensive games like Resident Evil 4 Remake can significantly drain the battery. I particularly enjoy the aesthetic touch of the illuminated analog sticks when the system is powered down. For those seeking a more budget-friendly option, the Steam Deck might be a suitable alternative. Speaking of which, I opted for the Steam Deck 512GB variant myself. It's worth noting, as some users have reported issues with system startup, that it's advisable to charge the device initially before attempting to use it, a common practice with electronic devices. In terms of performance, gameplay is impressive and runs smoothly, albeit generating noticeable heat during prolonged use. Overall, the Asus ROG Ally offers a compelling gaming experience in a compact and convenient package. I decided to purchase Steam Deck from Rocket Drop LLC since they were conveniently located in my home state, just a 25-minute drive away. Thinking it would arrive sooner, I was slightly disappointed when it took about six days. They were a bit sluggish in shipping it out. But hey, no big deal. Once I had it in my hands, I was blown away. This thing is truly amazing, living up to my high expectations. It's like having a capable low-to-low slash mid-tier gaming rig in the palm of your hands. If you don't have a PC right now due to the astronomical prices for components, the Steam Deck is undoubtedly your best option. Moving on to the size the 64GB model's storage capacity. It's not much, especially if you're looking to install 3A games. For now, you can get by with a good microSD card, U3, A2, as the load time differences between the SD card and the SSD are negligible at best. eMMC also isn't incredibly slower than NVMe. It's slower, yeah, but nothing crazy. The beauty of the Steam Deck is its upgradability. You can easily swap out the 64GB drive for a larger 512GB to 1TB 2230M.2 NVMe SSD by following the excellent guides from iFixit, YouTube, or even Valve themselves. I plan on doing this upgrade eventually, but for now, I'm content with using my SD card since, as I mentioned, the load time differences are negligible. It'll just be easier not to deal with shader cache storage from games taking up my space, and so on. Initially. I'll admit, I was a bit skeptical about purchasing from Rocket Drop LLC. There weren't many reviews, and a few negative ones mentioned screen issues or receiving used devices. But a lot depends on the specific seller you choose from the drop-down. In my case, it was a flawless experience, brand new in the box, with plastic still on the deck and the zippers locked with Valve's tags. I'm glad that in the last five weeks, many more people have purchased the Steam Deck from Amazon and shared positive experiences in their reviews. 
It's also reassuring to know that Valve honors the warranties for DEX purchased through Amazon, so you can always RMA it to them if you ever have issues. The fact that I can play 3 AM modes in the palm of my hands at a steady 30 plus FPS, not even on low settings, is mind blowing to me. And all of this for less than $450, not to mention the astronomical prices of competitors like Ion Neo, GPD, and OnePlayer.